All right then, my friends. So next up, we're going to tackle this full width layout, which is split up into three columns going across. And on top of that, in each column, there's also a nested grid to lay out the content vertically within the columns. For example, this first column has a nested grid with three rows, one at the top for the nav, one in the middle for the content, and one at the end for this little sentence. And when we make the browser smaller, you're going to see that this layout is also fully responsive and the grid items gradually stack on top of each other. So this is the layout that we're going to build over the next couple of lessons. And by the way, the inspiration for this design actually came from something I saw on Dribbble. The design is right here. So if you like it and you want to check out more by this designer, then I'll leave the link to this page down below the video. But anyway, let's get cracking on building this layout. So remember, as always, you can get the starter files for each project from the GitHub repo over here. Woohoo! Remember, the link is down below to that. And you want to go into this folder right here, Five Portfolio. And inside, we have this index.html empty as usual. And we just link up to the styles.css file. And inside that, we just have one rule for the body, strip away the margin, and we set the font family to poppins, which we import right here at the top. Also, we have an image folder with these two images inside it, one and two. All right. So let's get cracking with the HTML template. So we're going to start off with a main tag and all of our content is going to go inside here. Now, ultimately, we're going to set this to display as a grid and I'm not going to give it a class of grid container or anything like that because we can just target the main tag directly. So everything directly inside this main tag is therefore a grid item, right? I remember we have essentially three panels, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. And we're gonna do a div tag for each of those panels and give each one a class of panel so we can style it. I'm also gonna give this a class of welcome just so we can style the welcome panel a bit differently as well. So inside here, we have three different sections, right? We have a nav at the top and inside that is gonna be some anchor tags. So we'll say for the first one, home, and then I'm going to duplicate this just a couple of times, change the second one right here to portfolio, and then the last one to contact. All right. So below the nav, we have another item. And by the way, remember, I said that each of these divs themselves are also going to be nested grids. So they're grid items for this grid, but also this is going to be a nested grid whereby everything inside this directly is a grid item as well because we want to display the content vertically within each panel and to do that we'll be using css grid so this is going to be a grid item the next thing below that is going to be a grid item which is a div this is going to contain a bit of text an h1 first of all with the title and then below that just a paragraph tag so i'm going to say something like lauren 30 and press tab so that's the second bit of content inside this first panel. And then finally, we're gonna have a little footer at the bottom of this panel with a paragraph tag inside it. And I'll just say lorem six to do six words of lorem ipsum. So that's pretty much it for this first panel. That's the first grid item on the left, okay? The second one is also gonna be a div with also a class of panel, and this time a class of about. So we have the welcome panel, then the about panel. And again, this is a grid item inside this grid, but also it's going to be a grid container and the things inside this directly are going to be grid items for this grid container. OK, so the first one is going to be an image. That's the first grid item inside here, and that's going to be from the images folder. And then it's one PNG. And for the alt, I'll just say something like main pick, really original. And then also we want a second grid item in the about panel and that is going to be a div with a class of text so we can style it later and inside that we'll do an h2 and it will say about me and then below the h2 we'll just do some lorem ipsum so i'll say p and then lorem 12 something like that so this is a grid item inside this grid container and this is a grid item inside this grid container as well and we also have two panels now which are both grid items inside this grid container all right so the third and final panel is going to have a class of panel but also photos and then inside there we'll do a div with a class of text it's going to go at the top this time so on this panel the image is at the top but in this panel the text is going to be at the top so inside here we'll do an h2 that says photography 
and then below that a paragraph tag lorem 12 to do 12 words of lorem ipsum and then below this grid item we need another one which is going to be the image this time inside the image folder and we want two png and for the alt of that we'll just say landscape pick all right and i think that is pretty much it for the html so again remember we have the main tag which is a grid container for the panels where the panels are the grid items and each panel as well is also going to be its own nested grid container and the items directly inside that are grid items for those nested grids okay so let's take a look at the browser it's going to look absolute pants but nevertheless all the content is there so now what we can do is start to style this up using css grid so let's start with the main tag and we want to set the display of this to be grid so we'll say display grid we're going to have three columns in this grid one on the left for the intro text one in the middle for the about and then one on the right for the photography section so let's say we want grid template columns and let's just start with one fraction, one fraction, one fraction. However, I want this left one to be slightly bigger than the other two. Now, if I do two fractions, that's gonna to be too big. But instead, what I can do is say 1.2, and that's absolutely fine to do. And this is just gonna make it slightly bigger than the other two columns, all right? So that's our columns. We also want to set the min height to be 100%. So that means it's gonna take up at least 100% width or height rather of the browser, okay? Now each of the panels is also gonna be a nested grid. So we can say down here, panel, and then we want to display this as grid as well. And the grid template columns is just gonna be one fraction. So basically we're saying, look, we want it to display as grid, but we're only gonna have one column because we're using the grid to basically display the content in a vertical way. And we can use align items to distribute that content later, all right? So then below that, we need to also style individually the different panels. So we have the welcome panel on the left, then the about, then the photos panel. So inside the welcome panel, I can say panel and, oops, spell it correctly panel and then dot welcome like so to style this one and the background of this is going to be kind of like a brown color now i'm just going to copy this from my course files all right and then the padding is going to be 30 pixels top and bottom 60 pixels left and right and also grid auto rows is going to be set to one fraction so we're basically saying for every item inside this panel right here so we have the nav the div and the footer it's going to be one fraction of the height so we're going to have three rows and each one is going to be the same height one fraction of the total height available okay so if i save this now and preview over here we can see this is the first row this is the second row and this is the last row okay now i want to style each one of these individually so let's start off with the nav because that looks pathetic so let's come down here and say panel dot welcome and then the nav inside that and we want to target the anchor tags and all we want to do is set a color of these to be a8 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 and that's kind of like a really light greeny brown or something like that so if we take a look at that looks all right okay we also want to take away the text decoration so set that to be none and then the margin right of each anchor tag should be about 20 pixels to just space them out a little bit all right looking pretty good so now let's style the middle bit so down here we'll say panel dot welcome and then we'll target paragraph tags now that's going to be this right here but also this in the footer so for this we want the same color so let me copy that property and paste it here we also want a max width and that's gonna be 540 pixels, just so it doesn't always go to the end of the panel. And then a line height as well to space this out vertically. And that line height is gonna be two Ms. Save that. And yep, that's looking a bit better. We also want to style the H1. So let me just copy and paste this style in. So 
We target the H1 in the welcome panel. The color is this light gray and the font size is increased. Save that and preview and that's looking pretty good. Now the only thing left to do here is to take this and move it right down to the bottom. And to do that in a grid, remember, to style things vertically in the rows, we can use align items if we want to do it for every single grid item or align self if it's just for this one right here. And I just want it to be for this one. So what I'm going to do is come down here and say panel dot welcome and then the footer tag inside that we want to align self to be end and that's going to put it right at the bottom that footer okay so it's down here now cool all right so that's the first panel kind of done we can now move on to the about panel which is this thing right here so in here we've got two items we've got the image at the top and then the text at the bottom so we're going to have two rows essentially and remember this is a grid right because we set all the panels to have a display of grid so let's come down here and style the about panel we're going to start off with dot panel dot about and we're going to set the rows so grid hyphen templates hyphen rows and we're going to set three fractions for the top row and then one fraction for the bottom row. So that means that the image is going to have three times as much space as the bottom one. Four fractions in total, three for the top, one for the bottom. All right. So let's now say also overflow hidden just to clip the image if it overflows. And then also I want to target the image itself because I want the width to be or the min width to be 100 percent. So let's target that i'm going to say the min width is going to be 100 percent and also the min height is going to be 100 percent as well so let's say min height 100 percent as well save that and it just kind of constrains the image a little bit better all right cool so we also want to now do this column right here so let's do that i'm going to back over here oh in fact what i want to do is make this target the image rather than the about section or rather the about section directly so panel about image like so and paste them in right here schoolboy error okay looks looks fine cool all right so we have this final column right here now and also i've noticed we need to style this text bit here and here but we'll do that later on so let's do this column first. So down to the photos panel and I'm going to say panel dot photos. And again, we're going to have two rows in this, but the top one this time is going to be one fraction. The bottom one is three fractions. So let me copy this and paste it in and we'll change this to one and then three. All right. And then also down here, we're going to say overflow hidden. All right, save that. And okay, looking good so far. Now also down here, we wanna say panel.photos and then the image inside that. And we're gonna use the same rules as this. So let me grab those and paste them in and save that. And yeah, this is looking pretty good now, right? So I also wanna style those two pieces of text right here to give them a bit of space. So let's go over here and we can go to the top because they're not specific to either panel because they're in both. And I'm going to say right here, panel, and then the text class in each one. Because if we go back to the index down here, we can see that this has a class of text and so does this. So we're styling that. And then inside here, we want to give it a background, which is going to be E, 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 7, light gray. And then also we want to give it a color. So I'm just going to grab this from my repo over here and paste it in. And then finally padding, which is going to be 30 pixels top and bottom, 60 pixels left and right. Save it. And that is looking a bit better. Awesome. So that's pretty much it in terms of the desktop styles. It's looking pretty nice, right? At full width, it's nice. But then when we get down to slightly smaller screens it's all looking a bit stupid and squashed so we need to also add in some responsive styles and we'll do that in the next lesson